What happened with me that happened to you? Where's Christian's Noka? What does Noka mean? Abode. Abode. That's Christian's abode. Just make a boat. That's just for two. Drawing Christian. This is a bigger one for the goatmeat. My goat on seal I have was in Rasigunga. Uh, so my Goran Shiro is very smooth. Yeah. It's very hard to find a Goran Shiro like that. It's so smooth, it's so round, it's so beautiful. He was there in Samsara Chukka and went to Radhamara Temple 200 years ago. And, and he was living there, then he gave his body, he left the Shiro on the altar. And for 200 years, Radhamara was being worshipped. And then I got him. <laughs> <laughs> he came to me. <laughs> one sannyasi came. One Baba was living there and he was to a big Shaivite. And, and he asked the Mahant for that Shiva and, it, and the Mahant gave it to that Shiva to that to that Babaji. And the Babaji left that temple and he gave the Shiva to an American sannyasi who was living there, Parvat Maharaj. If he, this Shiva is from, was here at Radhamara, he should stay at Radhamara. And the Babaji moved to Barsana. So that sannyasi worshipped him. Now it's praying that Krishna please manifest as a deity for me I can worship. I'm not going to buy when you have to come to me. So he came as Dhiraj. <laughs> okay. They have to say no. Dhiraj Dharan Ki Masi Devi Ki Jai. Now we're going to see Masi Devi and Pandit Govinda Dasi Maharaj is going to tell us the Diti Hats of that Mandir. Mukharavinda. This is the mouth and Radhakun is the tongue. So the mouth starts here at the Radhakun. That's how I can eat so much chocolate. The mouth is five kilometers away. How big is how big is Shiraz's mouth? Very deep. <laughs> no, exactly how big. I don't know. How far how far is it from Masiganga to Rakan? How many kilometers? Maggie. <laughs> Five. <laughs> so his mouth is here, his tongue is in Rakan. <laughs> So how big is Kiraj's mouth? Five kilometers. Five kilometers. Five kilometers. Five Masi Devi is on the right hand side with the dress on. It's a born of Durga, Yoga Master, Yoga Maya, Masi Devi. And the other dress is who? Doran Shiva or the face of the lion or what? The left side the face of the lion. Who's the lion? Guess who's he? No, <laughs> wrong guess. <laughs> the big cat versus the little cat. <laughs> That's a lion. That, who's the lion? Rasim Khader. Jurgis Wahan. Ah, yes. Wahan means carrier. Yes, yes, yes. She rides on a lion. Her husband rides on a bull. Who's stronger, lion or bull? Uh, lion. <laughs> Both very strong though. Sometimes you see movies from Africa, water buffalo, so am I, and it's really cool. Or a black of so you did. So what's the story of my, Jaya, Jaya. Why is he going to Baba? What's the story of my sister and my girl? Long time, mother is still not going to see. One time she got up 
No, not exactly right. <laughs> you should have Maya, Maya and Nanabala didn't have kids for a long time. Here, Nanabala is 85 years old and his wife is 75 years old and they had Krishna as their son. And all the Brajvasis were worried, our king doesn't have any, there's no Yuvaraj. There's nobody here to do, take over the kingdom. He has no son, no child. So everyone is in distress, all the Rishwas is very unhappy. So, so, Yashara asked Bhagari Muni, who is the guru of Krishna, Gaiden Raya Mantra, Bhagari Muni, and he asked Bhagari, what do I do? He said, go to Govardhan, go to Mahasi and pray to Govardhan for a kid, for a son. <laughs> so then she came here, Yashara prayed, and then out of Gauran Shila came Durgamaya, Devi, Yogamaya, Mahamaya, it was Yogamaya, Paramasi, personified. He said, what do you want? I said, I need to have a child to be Yuvaraj, means the next king, be blessing. So Yogamaya, whose name was Masi Devi, because he came from the mind of Yashoda, Masi Devi. Because she was thinking, I, I need to get a child, so out of her mind, Yoga Maya manifested for her mind and gave her the benediction of a child, Jai Krishna. So this is the history of Manasi Devi. And this is Manasi, Manasi Kun, which came out of the mind of Krishna. And why is it called Manasi? Because it, this it's Ganga. Why is it called Ganga? Because one time, Nanda Maharaj was listening to Hari Kata. And Madhavan Gopal Das Baba was feeding Hari Kata. <laughs> And now the Maharaj heard that Hare Kata. And then Hare Kata, the ba <laughs> Babaji was talking about the glories of Ganga. He said once Garuda came looking for lunch and he picked up, he picked up uh, a snake from the Hamayas and the Shish. <laughs> he was trying to get, trying to pick up Lita Shaki. I mean, a Shishi might let her go. She wasn't fat enough. She's a skinny snake. <laughs> so he picked out this big snake and he was flying away from, from the Himalayas and the snake's tail touched the Ganga. And the snake immediately got a forearm form. And then Guru said, well, you're, you got forearm form. You should be like Kunta, serving mission. So Guru gave him a ride to like Kunta. He came back and had his lunch somebody else. <laughs> So Nanaraj heard that story. He said, really, just by touching Ganga, you get Mukti. Krishna, Balaam, Yesha, Rohini, let's pack up all the wagons. Let's go to uh, uh, Kumbh Mela. We'll bathe in the Ganga, we'll get Mukti. And Krishna said, what's this? My father's going crazy. <laughs> he's living with me, he didn't need Mukti. So, so he packed up and they came, they came. About this, they came from Nandagram, came here across, across the border line, from Tangram. And he said, wait a minute, and then Krishna thought, Ganga, why should we go, why should we go see you, you should come see us. My father wants to bathe in you, and that would be fun, I'd like to bathe in you too. So, come here, you come over here. So, come here. How can I serve you? He was riding on a Makara. Sometimes the alligator was Makara. But she manifests a beautiful kind. Krishna had so many boating pastimes here. There's a book called Gopi Prema Rita by Gopal Bhatta. He wrote four stories about Krishna Lila. So he tells one pastime about Krishna's boating pastime here. Very nice pastime. It's a long pastime, very funny. Krishna. <laughs> Tell him all the time. Thank you. I can't give all my repertoire at once. So long as the AEC is
Everybody is selling many books. So they're probably going to have a good breakfast. They have Puri, Sozi, Hala, <coughs> Sweet Rice, Beefies. Everybody eat like anything. We got in the car. <laughs> we just to go to the airport and sell books. You know, Bhavata and Gita. And the driver had the sanders on for you. There were six guys in a van. He said, I feel tired. What about you guys? <laughs> yeah, I feel really tired also. What's <laughs> more <laughs> well, tired the rest? <laughs> so you pull the van over the side under a big tree like this. <laughs> we went to sleep. One hour went by. So he said, hey, it's already nine o'clock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we woke up, we left, left there at 9.30, got the airport at 10.30. We're supposed to be here at 9 o'clock in the airport. <laughs> God, we're at 10 30. We had to leave at 5. We had to work real hard to make our quota because we each had to do 50 books now. And, you know, I was like, God. So we went really crazy, you know. <laughs> so I was like, Tom, go to Roger. <laughs> we're sleeping, Tom, and then we had to do as much Roger go to make up for it. We're just sad that everything's balanced. So. My Christian pastimes are radical. Written by a questionable character. <laughs> MMGD. <laughs> See a tree, you got the tree? Yeah, I So the story of two talking trees. Anyone can tell me the story? <coughs> Anyone read the book? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's a good report. <laughs> Hey, what's the story? Hey. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh. Hang your head in shame. Talking trees, three of tonight. Grungadas <coughs> Babaji Maharaj. We lived about 60 years ago and Raj. He's, he's a member of Nittai Gauraj Sham, Jabba Haikyu Chaturam, Gaudiya Vaishnav. He was considered a Siddha Saint of Raj, Rangadas Babaji Maharaj. At one time he was in the forest moving through Braj Mandal, like 250 years ago, and a heavy rainstorm came, boom, boom. He had no shelter, he was getting very cold. So he stopped under some trees to try to get some shelter from the rain. It was winter time and the trees didn't have any, many leaves. There wasn't much shelter. So the trees started talking. One tree said to the other one, they're side by side, two trees. One tree said, why don't you give this guy, this of the Mahatma, a shelter from the, from the rain. You open them up, give them, let, let them come inside you. <coughs> You get shelter from the rain. He said, no, I, don't, I did it last time. It's your turn. You do it this time. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't like this side Whatever, I don't know. So then they had a conversation with everyone. So I was like, trees are talking? <laughs> what is this? So when she's okay, they open, open up like this. They come inside. And the Grungadas went inside. This, not this tree, some tree. The rock couldn't, and he did anything with trees. You can see, you can see inside here. That tree's alive. It's a knee tree, it's a knee tree, it's totally alive, but it's a big hole in its belly. Are you may be feeling that right now also. 
Okay, if you don't hold your belly, you'll be hungry. <laughs> you will in an hour or two. So he says, so he went in there and he stayed all night, kept dry, he kept safe. So there's a beautiful story. It's in Saints of Rush, where I'll be able to floor. And it was somewhere else in Rush, but I took it out and put it in Rodicum. <laughs> Just to add some stories to the book. Because <laughs> it can happen anywhere, anytime. Any, any trees, all the trees are great devotees, even today and 100 years ago. If any devotee is suffering in the rain, the tree can open up and say, Come on, Baba, come in, come in out of the, out of the take shelter in my, my tree house. That's a really cool thing. I see you can get inside that tree. Huh? <laughs> it's really cool. It's phenomenal. It's like you go to Dragon's Quarry. I go to Dragon's Quarry, a place in Haridas, South Korea, Bajan, it's called Sidabokul. The tree is totally blown up. It looks like if somebody put dynamite on it, it blew up, boom, and it's been over like this and goes like this and like that and all over the place. And it's fully green and full of flowers. It's, and there's a tree in, in Radhika and Masapama and God called Pilu tree. Pilu, P-A-L-U, makes little tiny, little tiny red fruits. Like big as, I don't know what the big is. Big as Mangal. Mara Mangal. Green Mangal. Even smaller. And they're very tasty, very sweet. They're bright pink in color. Very beautiful. That's called Pilo. Pilo. And that tree's there. It's all blown up. It's one of those trees all blown up. It's by Vishnath Chakravarti's Bhajan Kutir. We'll show it to you in a few days with the rock and brick one out. I'll show you all the things. Jai Jai Shri Ram. So sometimes Rao goes and beats up, comes back and beats up again. It's called Pari Bartha. It's called Pari Bartha. It's called Tardi Bartha. So Krishna attacks the gobies up there, down Gati. So here the gobies tax Krishna. <laughs> so after Gajra Krishna attacks the gobies, he was in a pretty, pretty proud and cocky mood. And I be up the gobies, I, I, I embarrass him. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed to go east, and now I'm, I'm, the, I'm the king of this place. So go east, are all hiding in the bushes here. They're all kunzas in the bushes. And Krishna's coming down from Gangadi. The cows are in the front, and all the boys. And Krishna's the last boy. All the boys are in front, and Krishna's always lady in his pocket. He walks through like a el drunken elephant. You know? <laughs> he goes like this, like this. Everybody else is like, walking through on the cows. He's like, ah, oh, no. I don't care if you do eat, do eat Nayak, I don't care if the cows are here, okay. Enjoy. Proud, you know, so. So go east, they had, had cosmic mirrors, you know, everybody has a cosmic mirror. <laughs> so their pocketbooks, they go east pocketbooks, or whatever. Little bag. <laughs> they had little mirrors and they were signaling because the gobies were different crunches. So they were communicating by mirrors. Krishna's coming. They're going doot doot. And they, they, they see it. it's, all, it's all dark so they catch the sun in the mirror and broadcast the sun to, to other gobies to get, communicate Krishna's on his way. Get ready. So what they planned to do, they had a pre plan. They're gonna ambush Krishna. <laughs> They're gonna ambush him and tie him up by his Sika. Sika. <laughs> <laughs> like this. So 
And he came and then they sing an attack. <laughs> and all the goons say, ah, they all had big sticks in their hand. They better run out. They say, what do you want holy, you know? Boom, boom, boom. And then they, they tackled Krishna. <laughs> and they took a stick and pulled out a branch of a tree. Pulled out a branch of a tree. Big, big branch. They tied a stick in a tree. You let go. Why? <laughs> you know the tree. Ah, 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 mommy, mommy, mommy. You show them all, you show them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you down, you rascal bum. So, oh no. So what are you going to do? How, how are you going to make it so you down? I'll do anything, let me down, I'll do anything. I'll do anything, I'll do anything. Let me down. Let me down. Say let him down. So you'll do anything, right? Okay, now we're going to dress you as a goby. Hey, come on. <laughs> Two balls here, she does, but I'm going to be embarrassed. That's the idea. <laughs> so they dress him as a goby. Put a little, you know, thing up here and everything, you know. Pick up some mangoes and put up here. Put <laughs> <laughs> mangoes or, or uh, bale fruit or whatever, you know. <laughs> Depends on what size you want. What <laughs> Small, <laughs> <Twelve>, medium, large. <laughs> apples, apples. Watermelons. Watermelons. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that shit you. So then they say, okay, now you're a go. Now you're a gobi, Krishna, Krishna gobi. Now they pile water pots on his head, yogurt pots. So okay, walk like a gobi. And how do they walk? Give me a demonstration. Right, right, right. <laughs> and you look at this, okay, I'll follow her. <laughs> so, so he's going like that, and then they go, he took a stone, boom! They threw a stone, hit the yogurt, went, boom! <laughs> Krishna got totally bathed by yogurt. He's down the yogurt, thank God. He's ready to go back now. Johnny Barton, Clan Kija. So imagine Gobi, Krishna, Krishna dresses a Gobi covered with yogurt. I'll be charming, I'll be shade. A sight to meditate on while you're showing job. Krishna, Vrindavan, was it? Nana Kana Bhagavan, Sri Krishna Kija. Jai Jai Sri Rade. It's important in their, their Shampradaya, it's important to them. I don't know exactly why. They made a big deal of Chaturbhuj and Ryan on the other side. You see there? Sankarshi. What? They call it Sankarshi. Yeah, Sankarshi. This is Samadhi of Siddhamanar Das Ravi. He's in a way to Parivar. And he's a guru, he's a Diksha guru of San Das Ravaji Maharaj. He gave him Pansa, he gave Pansava mantras to him, he gave Rada Mantra Rama Gayatri. The prediction of the Ganesha Guru of San Das Ravaji is a Nana Gopal Goswami. He gave Gopal Mantra and Kana Gayatri. Gopal Mantra and Kana Gayatri are actually Diksha Mantras for the Gaudiya Sampradaya. Other mantras were added over the last hundred years or so. I even see the allotments. So, Siyamara added Rama Mantra Rama Gayatri. Third and Shastra, he added them, added them to the package. So it's just to facilitate bhajan, but the main Diksha Mantras are Gopal Mantra and Kama Gayatri. But he also gave these other mantras, because they come in our parampara. 
So the way to try to initiate with, with the Gopal Mantra and Kamarashi was these were the other places. So, so he did Vajan here and his Samadhi is here in the same place, Simaradas. If you get a close up, uh, go ahead and put your camera inside and get a close up picture. Okay. Vertical. Watch your bag or something. <coughs> so we'll do four frequencies of Tosi and Sumar, that's four times around. So the point is, is Tota Gobi on the Monday. Yes, the same picture as there. And every, uh, every afternoon, Gnara Pana would speak Bhagavatam. And Lord Chaitanya would listen. And his Lord Chaitanya yeah. and his Nityananda. You know, I was married, he was a brown, he wore a brown thread. Every time he took sannyas, he gave his brown thread and shaved his head. He took a weight in sannyas. No sikha, no, no brown thread. This is Karabhama Bhattacharya. This is Haridas Thakur. He kept a little distance. He didn't sit on the same platform. This raised platform under a tree. He said, stay away from it, that he's a Muslim by birth. This is King Prachapuruja, the King of Pori. And these are different great devotees, I can't remember who. Oh, his names are there in Bengali. This is the Srivas Thakur. This is Srivas Thakur, huh? She was Raghunath Das Goswami. Jagadanand Guru. Jagadanand. Jagadanand Pandit. Yes, correct. Pandit Jagadanand. Raghunath Das, take a picture of this, it's really nice. Yes. And Gaur Pandit. Gaur Pandit. This was the Pandit Gadadhar. Pandit Gadadhar. Oh, Pandit Gadadhar. Now we see Nittai. Yeah. Nittai. Prabhu. Prabhu. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. Is, what is this? Kashi or? No, Advaita Prabhu. Oh, I wait here. Advaita Prabhu. Nittai the way he does, the way to probably wear tea like also. Yeah, yeah. He has did another part of it. See, he has, he has new part of tea like. Yes. New part of tea like is... Gadadar. Gadadar. Gadadar probably wear a new part. It's like a new part type. And Raghunath does go sound the same hour till I could do. Advaita. Same thing. The way to probably wear a Raghunath says, the way to probably wear tea like. This is a good artist. He's an artist. Does everybody with the same tea like he has? <laughs> Even Haridas Thakur also. Same. Same. Haridas Thakur has a way to fire because he's initiated by, he took, he took initiation from a great of our own. So this is Haridas Thakur? Yes. This is Haridas Thakur. So Bhagavad, Bhagavad Ashram. He was Guru Day for a long time with the Mahanta that temple. Samara the temple. He was Mahanta. Science is Bhagavad Ashram. Sri Bhagavad Ashram. You can see Hindi signs is going around the front. Sri Bhagavad Ashram. Okay, yeah, no friends. He saw a cow and said, do you see Sita? The cow didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to give an answer. 
and she ain't gonna answer. So as I curse you, your, your mouth, is, everything about you is pure except your mouth. You're not speaking. So this, and see, uh -huh. the two eyes are there. This is his nose going down. Uh -huh. This is no, his nose. And you go a distance, uh, yes, you can yes. see. Yes. Very clear. Distance. Yes, I can yes. see. Mm -hmm. Come here, but don't. This is the nose, the eyes are here. This one here, this little star is called Daukadauji. Doka means to bend down, to crouch down. So you give me an example, crouch down. Crouch, crouch. Yeah. No, it's without the eye. Oh. Like this. No, no. No, just. You just bend, like do this. like squats. Like this. Like this? No, just. Like this. Like this. Yeah, like that. Like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the, okay, that's the position of Balara, of a sat ras. This time your springtime ras was going down there, Chandra Sarovara. Chandra Sarovara. It's called Chandra Sarovara. There's Krishna Rasa dance on the banks. And the moon was moving through the sky. When the moon saw Rasa dance, it saw us, he didn't go anywhere. He stayed there for millions of years. The Christians asked for millions of years. The moon was right red, so it became known as Chandra Sarovara. It's a site of Gobi Gi. Gobi Gi is a sun ross. It happens there. Chandra Sarovara. So that night, the sun Purnima, Chaitra Purnima, maybe Chaitra Purnima, Chaitra Vaishak, Bob was walking on top of at night, walking on top of Gurun Hill. Over there. He saw in the distance a Tanasura. He saw his brother dancing with his Gobi girlfriend. <laughs> the bottom is the color of like like white snow or white cloud, you know? Very bright. It was a full moon was shining. So he was staying on top of the hill. The hill was much higher, of course. Gordon Hill was much, much higher. He thought that. Krishna must be, he's got to see me. And Krishna sees me looking at him like <coughs> his girlfriend, so I got embarrassed. You know, younger brother gets embarrassed to see his older, girl, his older brother in front of his girlfriends. <coughs> and there's wives of other people also. <sighs> so, like, what? So, he crouched down, hope he doesn't see me. So, now <coughs> that Valorant's crouching down, very innocent. Instant pose, very nice meditation. Bala is watching his brother's Rasa dance with San Purnima from that place. There's a temple there, Bala. We can't go there because we have to walk and go over the hill. But people go there. So it's called Daukadau, Daukadauji. Dauji, the older brother that crouched down to see Krishna's Rasa dance. <laughs> So it's been remembered for the last 5,200 years. They don't, want to, they don't want to forget that Leo. They want everybody to always remember Krishna, Bada, and the Gobis, and all the Leos that go down. There are many caves in Govardhan. When you walk around and go around, you look, you can see some caves sometimes. See some rocks like this now, you see it dark black spot between the rocks, that's a cave. You have, you have to see, you can see sometimes entrance to caves. If you're, if you're, look, if you're looking for it, you can see some, you, know, you see rocks and the sun, sunshine, where a cave is dark, it's, it's, it's dark inside the cave, so it looks like a dark hole you see sometimes. It's not like some circle like that. It's just like between rocks. You see enough space to people go inside. Good luck, Krishna Manjali.
Last go story says, Well, Rarani, take me by the hand. She'll take me to a cave in Govardhan and she'll teach you how to sing. So I'm waiting for that day when Rarani takes me by the hand to go down into a cave and teach me how to sing. And Krishna hears about it from a parrot. Rarani is some singing and teaching. So Krishna wants to hear what, what song is she teaching that wants you to sing? Must be a song about me. <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to teach a love song about Krishna. That's the only subject for chanting and meditation. Grass and trees and stuff. You have to swim for the year. So it's a signature. He watches an ecstasy. So he comes to the footprint. Sorry, he has the answer to Get out, 